Volodymyr Zelensky met with Valery Zaluzhny. The Ukrainian leader arrived in the UK to participate in a summit of bilateral meetings with partners and sign new security agreements. At the airport, the president was met by former head of the armed forces Valery Zaluzhny, who recently assumed the duties of Ukraine's ambassador to the United Kingdom. He will pay special attention to relations. He is scheduled to meet with King Charles VI of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, and the Commonwealth, as well as Prime Minister Keir Starmer on this topic. Our president will meet with officials and heads of defense companies. The parties will sign an intergovernmental agreement on support for the Ukrainian defense industry, discuss cooperation and expanding Ukraine's defense capabilities. Since the first days of the full-scale invasion, the UK has been one step ahead in its determination to support Ukraine. This is the kind of determination needed to stop Russian terror. It was loud last night on the Russian Black Sea coast and in the temporarily occupied Crimea. The enemy Ministry of Defense reported a massive drone attack allegedly involving more than 30 drones and 10 unmanned boats. In Novorossiysk, residents of the coast were even advised not to approach windows. Cotton blossomed also near the annex Sevastopol in the area of Kozacha Bay. It was also loud near the villages of Myrn and Novozerny. There are no reports on the attack. The occupiers are preparing to launch an offensive against Zaporizhia region, says Andriy Shchenko, an advisor to the mayor of Mariupol. They are bringing troops from different regions from Novoazovsk and Donetsk. They are no longer moving towards Zaporizhia region through Berdyansk or Primorsk, but rather towards Rozivka, Polohi and Tokmak, which is closer to the front line. Militants drove a convoy of 17 military trucks that had previously arrived in Novoazovsk to the area of Polohi in Zaporizhia. The tendency to accumulate new units near the contact line in south may indicate forming a reserve. For an offensive on the southern front and suggests increased pressure on Vuladar in the near term. The deployment of equipment and personnel closer to the combat line in the south has been observed for a week. No changes have been recorded in this front line so far. Military clashes are growing. The enemies concentrate in the Pokrovsky sector. Our defenders repelled 26 assaults and attacks launched with the support of air power. In the Turetsk sector, Russians attacked Ukrainian positions 29 times in Pivnishna and New York. They also used guided aerial bombs. The Ukrainian defense forces continue to deter and deplete the enemy along the entire contact line. We stop them in the Kurakov direction. The situation is under control. Russians are also trying to put pressure on the Kharkiv direction. There were 20 clashes in Hilibok and Vovchansk. The occupants dropped 104 cabins from bombers on Ukraine over the past day. In addition, it fired over 400 times, 94 of them from multiple launch rocket systems. Залпового вогню.